This was my first real 4S drone and I loved it. I learned acro on it, really fell in love with FPV from this thing. Looking back, it was a bit heavy now that I've flown more frames and prop sizes, but after just one crash, it literally never flew the same again. So today I'm gonna resurrect it and give it a second life. Hi, okay, really quick, I almost forgot. So Meps King is doing this M plus membership thing where for a monthly fee of $2.99, you become a member and you get benefits on their site, like free shipping, 15% off discount. But most importantly, there's this drawing for these review products and the O4 Pro is actually in the drawing. So you could win one of these if you sign up to be an M plus member, but Meps King partnered with me to give away two free memberships. So you don't have to pay anything. You can be in the drawing for this O4 Pro and you get 15% off, which you can stack with my discount code sauna, giving you guys a maximum of like 23 and percent if you just buy something from the site. So stick around to the end. I'll tell you how to enter that giveaway and how I will contact you if you win. It's really easy. But if you wanna go on Maps King and just buy something because you like these motors that I'm gonna feature or need something else from them, discount code SANA, 10% off everything. Okay, back to the video. They actually sent me these 1404, 4600 KV motors, super fresh, a little spicier than the stock, sub 250 motors, and these are super smooth. I was super impressed with the quality control of these motors. They give you a bunch of extra screws. They also look really clean. I love the green accent on the inside. So thank you, Meps King. They also have a ton of options. So I hope to check out some more stuff from them in the future. Moving right along. Here's the real game changer. We're dropping the O4 Pro, which I was previously flying on this thing, and we're gonna try it with O4 Lite. We'll also be trying it with the Flywoo Wide FOV Adapter. And this one specifically allows you to mount any O4 Lite in an O4 Pro frame because it adopts the same mounting pattern. And we'll also try it without because this thing is a little bit weird, but I'm hoping that the weight reduction is gonna lead to this thing flying even better. We're also trying different props. So let's rebuild this thing from the ground up and see if a lighter camera, smoother motors, and different props can fix the issues I was having before and make this thing fly as close to a five inch as possible. Build montage time, bitches. So first I stripped down the old build, removing the motors, VTX, and ELRS. I would have kept the ELRS, but I had broken off the ceramic antenna anyway, so perfect time to upgrade. Here's most of the stuff we'll need for this. The FC is an AIO Red Fox A3 from Sub250. I kind of hate this FC. Maybe someone can help me. It has a six pin plug and play port for HD VTX, but it doesn't actually power O4 Pro or O4 Lite. When I plug directly into this thing. So I've had to solder my VTXs to the AIO. Kind of annoying. And please comment if you can tell me if I'm doing something wrong. The FC was super dirty from crashing in the mud. So I clean it with ISO and cotton swabs. Next, I attach the motors and solder them to the AIO using my pine sole soldering iron, applying flux and cleaning the tip before each pad. Next is the ELRS receiver. These things are getting expensive, but you can still find some cheapy ones under 15 bucks in the US. All parts to the build are linked below, by the way. Heat shrink that thing. Next, I drop in O4 light and solder it to the FC because I can't plug the damn thing in. All good though. It's pretty quick. Now let's get all the cables organized. I use these mini rubber bands to sort of cinch them together. I had to print these TPU bits in red to mount the camera since I lost the OG silicon ones. Hopefully these work. Camera goes in and it's time to throw on some props and give it a flight. Super happy with the build. I know I skipped over some parts, so just leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. I'll be sure to get back to you. Let's fly, yo. But of course, it wouldn't be a sauna video without a fail. So I tried to just hover test this outside the crib and bruh, I spent all day tweaking this build, unbuilding it, re-soldering it, trying new screws, different soft mounts, foam, hard mount, wedging silicone in there. But no matter what, this violent shaking would not go away. Finally, I ripped this adapter off and I noticed this clicking sound and realized that there must be a piece of the lens glass or plastic that isn't fixed in tight, leading to insane shakiness as soon as there are any vibrations near the quad. So that explains this, right? But check this out. This is how the adapter works. The O4 light gets slotted in here. Then you screw on this back plate to force it in place all the way in there. And guys, I tighten this stuff down real well. Still shakes. So what did I do to save the day and make sure that this video had a flight test? I made the most ghetto mount 
ever to wedge in my other Flywoo adapter, which just slides over the Flywoo 04 Lite camera housing. I found this TPU 3D print mount for the 04 Lite without an adapter for this Oasis Fly 25. I'll put a link to the STL down below, but I just cut this thing because it was a little bit too wide and then literally wedged in the Flywoo adapter. Because there's a lot of TPU, I think this should isolate from vibrations, but you're gonna find out in a sec. So how does it compare to the OG? Oasis Fly 25. First impressions, this felt so nice to fly after battling demons trying to get rid of that shakiness for a full day. These motors are super smooth. They sound a lot less harsh than the original Oasis Fly motors, if that makes sense, which helps because I fly a lot of populated parks. Right off the bat, I felt more in control when like changing directions, I think due to the lighter weight. I'm flying a super light 650 milliamp hour from ZFPV. I love these batteries. I'll leave a link down below. This reduction of weight with the combined reduction from the O4 Lite and like lack of massive O4 Pro antennas made this thing feel a lot more agile. We're coming in at 140 grams before the battery with O4 Lite compared to 167 grams with O4 Pro. So you're saving about 27 grams, which on a 2.5 inch like this is a ton in my opinion. I'm using the stock tune from Sub 250 and I think I need to adjust it a bit for the lighter quad after the resurrection. I'm happy though. I forgot how much I missed this 2.5 inch open prop platform for freestyle since I don't wanna be ripping like a five inch around a park where kids are playing around. Not to mention this is just so much quieter and gonna draw a lot less attention to drone Karens, which I'm terrified of. Okay, so takeaway, this is already way better. Still not a miracle, but flyable again. So let's quickly talk about the differences between the OG and the Res. Obviously the MAPS motors are new, but they're so similar in specs that they just work like I expected. The real big difference here was the O4 Lite. That 25 plus gram weight savings is huge. And some of you may be like, well, can you really notice like 20 grams on a 4S? To me, the answer is clearly yes. And I know this because I notice a huge or relatively large difference between an 850 milliamp hour and a 650 milliamp hour, which with my batteries is about 25 gram difference. So going to a lighter battery and lighter VTX, that's like 50 grams. That's a huge difference for agility. It feels less bogged down and sluggish, just pretty much does what I want it to do. Still obviously need to tweak the tune, but like I said, overall, nice resurrection. Let me know what you might do to make it rip even harder. So the membership thing, if you stuck around, chances are you want to enter this for the free giveaway and all that stuff. So leave any comment. And if you want to be entered into the M plus giveaway thing, just include the word MEPS or MEPS King or something at the end of your comment. So I know that it's not just a random comment that you actually want to be entered into this. Then in seven days from this video post, I will use a random comment selector to choose two commenters that want to be entered. And then I will respond to that comment on the video. And then you can email me and I'll give you the code in private. No other account will contact you. Yeah, good luck. Hopefully you get that 04 Pro when the drawing happens.